Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. Just before we get started, if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it keeps me motivated to make some more videos for you to help you in your OSCE exam. So hopefully to pass first time. Okay, so let's talk about professional behavior, professional behavior station. So it's based on uh, your uh, knowledge of the code. Uh, so what are the uh, on your screen now there are four basic domains of the code so what are those four basic domains if the first one is prioritizing people second one is practicing effectively third one is preserving the safety of people in our care and the fourth one is as a qualified nurse you need to promote professionalism and trust okay so uh, th that's the four values core you know four basic domains set in our code uh, so what in next screen it tells you what you need to do for this station in your exam so it's a written station it's 10 minute written station uh, you will be given a scenario to read okay so make sure you read your scenario carefully and then you consider the main points uh, if you were a nurse and you came across that situation what will you do what will be your actions okay in that situation and you then need to write your actions your thinking what what your main points are so you need to write those clearly as full sentences now in an answer and within the set time of 10 minutes so how do we prepare for this station so for this, for preparing I would recommend that you read and understand the code some of it you probably already have covered in your CPT exam second one is you know uh, there are five topics which can come in your uh, exam on this station and in a in few seconds I will tell you which are those five topics but you make sure that you read uh, widely on those topics topics and uh, maybe also do some practice scenarios okay I'm going to be covering one of the practice scenarios today but you need to cover on all different topics and the third thing which is again very important uh, is that you have read the marking criteria set by the test centers for this uh, station I've added the copy of the marking criteria uh, from the test center website to the description of this video below okay so let's uh, uh, so let's look at the five topics which can come in your exam around the um, around professional behaviors so first one is about the patient confidentiality second one is about the drug error third one is around uh, possible abuse so it's about safeguarding adults uh, the fourth one is uh, professional confrontation which nurses can uh, come across in their nursing practice quite a lot uh, and then the fifth one is very hot topic which is about the social media use for nurses which we are always have to be very careful as professional how we present ourselves on social media so those are the main five topics now you won't be given five scenarios your scenario will be set in one of those areas okay so we don't know which one so we need to practice all of them and your scenario will be around one of these topics okay so in uh, next I'm going to show you one of the topics I'm going to take which is drug error and going to show you a practice scenario and then show you how to write your answers okay before we get started uh, I have put the scenario on the screen for you but before I get started I will just tell you this does not relate to a real patient or a real situation at all this is purely I have made up a name of a patient and purely done this scenario just for practice to make you understand the station it does not relate to a real patient okay so let's look at the scenario so you, your scenario for drug error is that you're completing your uh, uh, morning medication round um, and you are uh, completing your round and your newly admitted patient Mr. Peters has antihypertensive due at 8 a.m. So you admit you go ahead and administer those medication at 8 a.m. Uh, but then you just remember that the nice night nurse handed over to you that Mr. Peters blood pressure was really high on admission at 3 o'clock 3 a.m. this morning so she has already given him a stat dose of antihypertensive at 3 a.m. 
and now you have given him another dose at 8 a.m. So obviously he had more than uh, needed a, a dose of uh, antihypertensives. So it's clearly a drug error. So what would you do in this situation where you uh, already know that your patient uh, probably had more than he needs uh, for a drug? Okay, um, uh, so what are your things? The first thing you think about is that your prompt recognition of the error is really important. So we're going to think very, very clearly what will be my main point. My main point will be my patient safety first okay uh, second thing will be I need to check my patient's vital signs to check on patient cl clinical stability and report this error straight away to my medical team and my nurse in charge because I need urgent help and guidance and the third thing is once my patient is more stable I need to make sure that I disclose uh, the incident to my patient because you know I need to adhere to the duty of candor which tells us that we need to be open and honest with our patient. Uh, number four which thing which comes into my mind is documentation so making sure it's really important you document the incident in your event in your uh, patient notes and also the consequences of the event and also complete a incident form okay because we need to learn from our mistakes and we can only do that if we complete the incident form and look into why the mistake has happened and that brings us to our next point which is need to reflect and learn from mistakes and our last point will be about uh, acknowledging that we need to keep and uphold the standards and values set in the code. So those are the five main points, six main points which come to my mind. Now how do I elaborate on them and how do I write them as full big sentences, short paragraphs in bullet points to complete my answer which is on the next screen. So I'm quickly going to go through it. So I recognize, so my first point will be I recognize that drug error can harm my patient and it is important that I take appropriate measures immediately to maintain my patient safely, safety and reduce the effect of any possible harm to my patient. Second thing is I will check Mr. Peter's vital signs without any delay to find out his clinical stability and report the drug error to the medical team and nurse in charge and seek urgent help. And then third one is that I will disclose the drug error to patient to adhere to the duty of candor. Fourth one will be I will document drug error in patient notes including my actions and any consequences of the drug error and also complete an incident form. So we already thought about these points now we're just putting more information okay. The fifth one is I fully understand the need to reflect and explore the reasons and look into the consequences of events leading to this drug error okay and I will identify my learning needs and I probably then I need to and revisit the drug administration protocols and procedures because it's really important and the sixth one is I acknowledge that I need to keep and uphold the values of the NMC code which are prioritizing people practicing practicing safely preserving safety of uh, uh, people we look after and promoting professionalism and trust as a registered uh, member of NMC so those are the four main, uh, six main points you need to think about and write them in full sentences and uh, quickly first read the scenario, quickly think about what your main points will be then elaborate and write completely. So that's uh, what we need to do. So my five top tips now. First thing is your handwriting has to be clear. I say that again and remind you in every station because your examiner need to be able to understand and mark it. Second thing is managing your time. 10 minutes do go quick and we are not used to writing these days so you make sure you practice with a timer when you're practicing these stations you can then know definitely confidently that you can complete this station in 10 minutes and the third thing is making sure that you know the NMC code and you have understood it and the fourth thing is I already told you that it's really important uh, that you know you uh, have read the marking criteria set by the test centers uh, because that's 
they are there to help you as well about uh, about giving you some guidance you know about your stations and then the last one is as a practice as a qualified nurse, so you're all wonderful nurses, uh, you know, you're all wonderful professionals already. So if you get stuck in your exam, think as a nurse, what would I do if it was a real patient scenario? And the answer I'm sure will come to you because we are all professionals and we are upholding these values all the time. So those are my top tips. I hope you like this uh, like this video please uh, press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and I will soon be back with another video and this time it will be uh, on your next station which is your evidence-based practice uh, and also visit us on uh, oskinastraining.com and I will see you all very soon bye for now